Okay, very first gun we've got to do for Zircon Scale is the Cat AMR. 300 kills whilst it's Pack-a-Punch. Let's go. Oh my god, it popped up and I didn't even expect it to. That's kind of useful. Okay, well, that one's done. Right, time to see if it's tracked. Yes, it has. Okay, so two more to go. Okay, it's time for my favorite one of the three, and uh, yeah, got to do another 300 kills with Pack-a-Punch. Let's go. Yo, he just got fucking crushed under the helicopter. Oh my god. Oh my god, it completes itself when the thing's done again. Man, my timing is either completely ass or this game just does it on purpose. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know why I check at this point. Yeah, it's obviously tracked. I'd just like to make sure I've actually shown that it's there. Okay, so finally... I've got to do the KV inhibitor. Let's go. Last gun of the three. Let's go. I'm going to be so glad when this shit's done. Oh my god. Is it done? No? Okay. Should be done anytime soon now. So let's call in the next X full. Boom. Boom. Oh. Boom. I can't. Some of these aren't even hitting and I've got Deadshot Dacry on. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew because that massive glitch happens before the camo unlocks. Uh, there we go. So that's the final gun complete. Okay, so that's now all three of the base snipers done. So uh, let's get to the video. Okay, guys, so as you can see from the intro, I have now finished the sniper rifles in Zombies. So I've just gotten them to Zerk on scale. And so I figured let's talk about the free guns, the base, the free base guns, because you only have to do three of these snipers. If you want to do any more than that, they're DLCs, they don't actually matter. Or, I mean, hell, at this point, like I say in COD, you can just do whatever guns you want now, because there is no fixation on doing specific weapon classes or whatever specific ones in them. With that being said, as I'm gonna say for most of these videos the actual challenge is piss easy because doing the pack-a-punch kills isn't that demanding it's just 300 kills whilst the weapon's pack-a-punch what I do want to talk about for these guns is that they have some very annoying base camos can I just say like if we're going to talk about this grind at all I might as well discuss the annoying camos that you have to do for these three guns so one of the very first guns that you have to do for the snipers is the cat AMR now this one is is highly renowned as one of the best because it's a bolt action it's super powerful usually does one taps but the only problem with this gun is it's extremely slow compared to the other ones slower ads slower reload time it's not that great just even the rechambering time is really slow as well so this gun as you can imagine isn't very trusty in zombies and to top it off they give us two of the worst challenges we've seen so far i've brought up these challenges and how annoying they are i think especially in the battle rifles video i stressed it quite a lot because there was some of those weapons that had these different challenges on but this gun gives you them all at once on one gun so for the cat amr there was the 250 kills with a rare or higher rarity ether tool basically on the gun so rares the blue color on your gun or higher meaning you've got to go out and look for a rare ether tool or a epic ether tool or a legendary ether tool and as i've explained in the battle rifles video for zircon scale that is not an easy thing to do but recently i've actually figured out that there is a pretty easy way that actually increases your chances of getting this one done so if you're looking at this challenge and thinking oh god i haven't got any ether tools already stowed on my inventory or any that i can craft within the zombies acquisitions menu the little shop thing it's okay there's an easy way of getting these ether tools and one of the best ways i've figured out that you could do this is going to the infested strongholds so there's strongholds around the map there is mercenary ones don't go to those because they're locked anyway and you need a key card to get into them and you're only going to find mercenaries on the other side of that door so there's no point but if you go to the infected or as they call infested strongholds what you can do is go into them and you will actually find that once you've cleared up all the cysts off the walls and basically cleared the building and done all that stuff, you actually have a bunch of really rare chests in there, like ether chests and stuff like that, big merc chests, all just spaced around in there. Those merc cash chests and whatever they're called, they actually have a very high possibility of containing ether tools. Usually, they will all the time. And if it's not a common one, it'll be a rare one. So that has seemed to have done the job for me very well. And then you do your 250 kills, which, as I've said, in all of these videos, the most easiest way in general
general. And this doesn't just go for base camos and how many kills you got to get for those, but even just for doing the pack a punch kills for, you know, the Zircon scale challenge, it's just to go to the fucking exfil sites guys seriously go to exfil sites rinse repeat keep calling in the chopper killing all of the zombies and you're gonna get those kills done super super quickly as opposed to just wandering around the map idly looking for zombies one by one which is super slow that's the first tip i've got to give for that one and another stupid challenge they added onto the katyamar which was one of the other ones i've spoken about before on the battle rifles that is the frost damage kills the 250 frost damage kills basically your easiest way of doing this is putting on the cryo freeze ammo mod because i've heard you can do this challenge somehow if you've got like the elemental pop perk on because the elemental pop is one perk that lets you just get randomized effects when you kill zombies so it could be a brain rock kill it could be a cryo freeze it could be a shatter blast it could be any of those but it's really unlikely that it will track from doing that from my own experience i found that the elemental pop freeze kills that happen every so often not only is it incredibly slow but there's a high likelihood that they won't even track so don't bother doing the elemental pop and then the other thing people have also talked about is using the whole like frost kill field upgrade that thing doesn't really work either that's really slow as well so for the frost kills if you've never done this challenge before 250 kills with frost damage means basically putting the cryo freeze ammo mod on your gun and i've said this before this one also is really really bad it sucks because if you do not find the frost damage inside of your inventory already because you just got it one game and you didn't realize it or you craft it inside of your zombies acquisition section unless you do that you've got to go and manually look for it and your odds of finding this inside of like the medium threat zones inside of random chests or whatever or from completing contracts is literally your only chance of doing it and it's not very high that you're gonna get it through doing that it's quite a slow process and with this challenge i legitimately got so fed up of looking for cryo freeze that i ended up actually asking someone in game chat because you can obviously publicly text in game chat to the whole zombies match and if there's anyone who's actually nice enough they will probably say hey come to this location it might be let's say e1 on the map and they will give you it and th that's how i did it essentially i had to ask another player if they had cryo freeze ammo mod and they were nice enough to give it to me so it's great that we have people like that inside of zombies but if you don't manage to get someone to give it to you and no one's feeling nice or generous like i say you've got to look for it in medium threat zones that's the most likelihood you'll find it or from doing contracts rinse repeat until you get it out of the reward rift which is very slow so already this gun sucked for challenges and the cat EMR just sucks in zombies as opposed to all the other ones in here because it's just slow enough as it is and then so the next gun that we had to do challenges for was the longbow and now i actually had a lot of fun using the longbow i'm not gonna lie the longbow was probably the most fun to use out of all of them but it still had some annoying challenges one of them that it wanted me to do for zombies was to get <laughs> yeah fire damage so 250 kills with fire damage very similar to the frost damage challenge for the cat emr and what that means is you have to have napalm burst ammo mod on so the napalm burst you'll be able to see what it looks like it's literally a flame icon so kind of self-explanatory for the challenge just, just look out for a flame inside of a chest now the napalm burst is actually a lot more common to get i found than the cryo freeze ammo mod i don't know why but it just is yeah the napalm burst and the shatter blast seem to be the most common types of ammo mods to get in this game anyway just like before the easiest way you're going to get this is probably actually going into those infested strongholds because those chests like i say not only do they contain rare or other types of ether tools they also contain those ammo mods as well another great thing is also doing contracts that will likely reward you with fire damage or you can just get that fire damage or i should say napalm burst ammo mod from just going into your acquisitions tab and crafting it from there so that also works or of course asking someone for it so that one again it's pretty self-explanatory but it's don't worry it's not as hard as doing the cryo freeze uh, and then the other one it wanted you to do again is the rare or higher rarity kills for the longbow 250 times so again that's about getting the ether tool for your weapon i've already explained how you do that and then yeah critical kills i'm also going to say this generally for all of the snipers that you're doing critical kills with for challenges just get the dead shot daiquiri perk literally that's going to make it so much easier for you if you're not someone who's very good at aiming at the head it's going to basically just let it do it for you that one perk literally just drags your gun up to the head as you're aiming in on them so dead shot daiquiri look out for it it's just that one 
guitar-y sort of skeleton looking perk machine. If you've never seen it before in the game, it's just a skeleton looking perk icon. You'll see it on the mini-map. But yeah, that is your easiest way of doing headshots. And not even just for the critical kill challenges, I would say just get it anyway, because most of your kills are going to do one shot if you have Deadshot Dacry on. If you don't aim for the head, most of the time, unless your weapon's pack a punch, you're not going to get easy kills with a sniper rifle. So I would just say go for that anyway. But yeah, that one was a lot tamer, I would say. The longbow actually wasn't as demanding as the cat AMR. Like the cat AMR straight up wanted me to do all this shit straight off the bat. And it was the very first gun to do. Lastly, we had the KV inhibitor. And this one, again, was actually very, very simple. This one wanted me to do 250 kills again with fire damage. This was kind of just a rinse repeat kind of thing. I was like, okay, look for napalm burst and just get on with it. And luckily, I already had a napalm burst stowed into my inventory. So I just did a good half of them. But the only reason I actually had to go into a second game because this could have actually been done in one match. I'm not even being funny. That that This gun was so easy, I could have done it in one match. Same with the longbow. But the reason I had to go into two matches for these two guns was either because I poorly tracked how much progress I'd done on the longbow for one of the challenges. And with this one, it was because I stupidly, whilst doing an infested stronghold, I actually picked up a chatter blast instead of what I already had on the gun. So I lost my napalm burst and then I had to go into another game and look for one. So that one though, again, if you've already got one on your inventory or you've crafted one, it's very simple. And then there was another one which was a very, very weird one. Now I'm not exactly sure how well I can give tips for this one because it was just bizarre. This one was to get three kills in a single shot 30 times. And I found what worked best was either having pack a punch one or higher and going into normal normal tier zones and calling in exfils. Granted, I think most people prefer to call in exfils in normal tier zones anyway, because they're not as sweaty and you're not having to worry about zombies sprinting at your ass every two seconds like you would in the medium or high threat zones. I'm not even sure if there is a, an exfil site inside of the high threat zone. I'm really hoping there isn't. That, that would be a death wish. But the point is, yeah, you're probably going to find that it's going to be easier to do in normal threat zone anyway, because zombies are weaker. And if you've got a pack of punch one or higher, it's going to basically blast through multiple zombies very easily when they're in clusters. So that actually increases your chance of getting three kills in a single shot. Now, this kind of challenge, we've seen this before on assault rifles, and it wasn't a big deal because on assault rifles, it would have said in one shot, which could have been whilst you just held down the trigger once until the gun had emptied all of its rounds. But because it's a sniper, it only fires one shot every time you pull the trigger down. So it's actually meaning you've got to do three collaterals, basically. And unless you do it with the pack of punches when there's masses of zombies crowding in big groups at x fills the only other way i can actually see you doing this challenge quickly and in easy succession is if you get insta kills and they're not guaranteed because they're randomized drops so unless you get an insta kill and you shoot three zombies in a row you still got to do that another 30 times so that challenge was just weird but i actually just found that it tracked and got done super quickly just through naturally doing x fill kills so i don't know but then there was another one for this gun for the KV inhibitor and it wanted me to do five mimic kills. You can easily find mimics in this game. Honestly, you can just find them probably by exfilling in medium threat zones or going into high threat zones and they're just kind of wandering about, I think. But then you can also call in contracts so you can go for the bounty contracts. They're great for getting a chance of killing a high tier mimic because either when you go for a bounty contract, it will either give you a disciple to kill, a mangler or a mimic. And you can do it that way. But another way, like I've already explained this already in today's video quite a few times, you can go to the infested stronghold. What you have to do when you get to an infested stronghold is you've got to burst or pop at least three to five of the cysts on the wall. That will usually summon in one mimic. And if you do that for five different strongholds that are infested, you will get this done. These five mimic kills super easily. But if you don't want to do it that slower way, you can actually go to medium and higher threat zones, and I'm pretty sure they actually have more than one mimic in one stronghold at a time. I actually went to one of the infested strongholds inside of the medium threat zones, and there was two mimics just chilling on the roof. So, I don't know. It's very simple, that one, though. Five mimics, you will probably not have to worry about that. You'll get that one done pretty simply. You can even do it just in one match. But, with that being said, that is generally all the base challenges. I don't normally talk about base camos, because it's not me just talking at that point about the mastery camo and then talking about the entire grind for that gun but in this case that is more or less what's hindered a lot of the progress for these guns it's actually the base camos 
camos and how long you're sat spending on those camos because the actual masteries seem to be easier than the base camos. The Zombies 101, I guess, this year. If you want to sweat your ass off for base camos, you get easy challenges as a payoff for masteries. I don't know. It's kind of backwards, but hey, I kind of thought these would be harder and they definitely were for the most part, but that's mainly because, like I say, the snipers literally take one shot per time you fire. So it's slow as hell, but I got them done pretty damn quickly. I got them all done in the same day, and that's probably because I have weapons already max level from multiplayer. So that's definitely giving me a head start. One thing I need to remember to do as well is to rank these. If I'm going to rank these, honestly, I don't know how much this matches up to my multiplayer ranking for Forged, but I'm going to say the longbow's the best. It just feels amazing in zombies. It's quick, and it just feels super satisfying. Then I'd say the KV inhibitor, then the cat AMR last. The cat AMR is just not good for zombies. It really isn't. I don't know who's willingly pulling this thing out and enjoying using it in zombies because it sucks. It absolutely sucks. But the other two were actually a lot more fun to use. Yeah, that's everything. Like I say, that's uh, Zircon Skull done now for snipers. So we'll be on to melees next. Woohoo. I can't wait to get knocked a thousand times. Sorry I keep making all these videos for Zircon Scale. I will obviously get back to posting some other stuff, but this is kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm in this I'm in this workflow of just doing all these Zircon Scale challenges. So I'm really getting through these, as you can see. Thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Zircon Scale and if you enjoyed using the snipers or not, or, or if you've even done them. I don't know. And uh, also be sure to check out all the links down below in the description. That'd be much appreciated. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.